So we've looked at the basics of functions, but now we're going to look at things that we can do inside of functions, because it's highly likely that you'll need to return different things under different conditions. Now let's stick with the same example. We're going to use the full name example. And let's just say that you are attempting to get the full name of a user. So we know that in here we accept in a first name. And what we're going to do this time is we're going to set the last name to an optional value. What we can also do is we could set this to null. This would probably be more appropriate because what we're doing here is we're saying, well, if the last name isn't provided to us in this function, set it to null. Now, the main reason for doing this is that null is a very easy value to check. We can check if something's null within an if statement very easily, and then we can do something uh, according to that. So in here, what we would normally do is we would return, let's say the first name and then a space, and then we would go ahead and return the last name. Now, if we go ahead and use this, so if we echo out full name and pass in a full name into this, like so, we know that it works in exactly the same way. We just get the full name. Now, what happens if, for example, we also had in here this separator and that was by default a space and we go ahead and pull this in like so. However, what happens if we don't provide a last name because that's not required. So what we're going to do, refresh this and we have the result we want, but actually what we've got is an extra space. So let's say by default, the separator was an underscore and we get the following. Now, it may be the case that we want to check if a last name has been provided. We don't want this underscore in here. So how do we deal with this? Well, we can use a very simple if statement to check if the last name isn't provided and then return a different value. You can have multiple return values within a function if you want. Now, it's important to note at this point, if I were to return, say, Alex here, just as an example, we now have return here and return here. Now, what do you think is going to happen if we return here? Then are we going to run the rest of this code? And to prove this, we can echo something out here as well just to see what happens. So by doing this, what we're actually doing is not seeing either hello or this here. The reason being is whenever we use return, this will essentially just exit out of the function and it will return the value that we've provided. So by doing this, it's not really going to work. We need an if statement to check if the last name is null. And if it is, we just want to return the first name. So in here, you have a lot of control over what you do. It really depends on what you're building. But in this case, we would say if last name and we can either say does it equal null or we can use a exclamation mark to say if not last name. Now, the more correct way to do this would be to do this. And it kind of reads a little bit better as well. So now, if that's the case, we just want to return the first name. Of course, we don't need the separator and we don't need the last name because it's not being provided in this case. So hopefully that makes sense. So let's go ahead and uh, use the full name just to see what we get here. And there we go. We get that underscore as well. And now if I don't provide my last name, we just get that value. So at this point, we are doing this. So Inside of here, you can do pretty much whatever you want in a function. You can loop if you want. You could provide multiple if statements. It's really up to you. Now, what you can also do just lastly is just use return on its own. Now, in this case, if we were to provide, say, an empty string for the first name, then, of course, we probably don't want to continue at all. We don't need to output anything. Now, in this case, what we could do is create an if statement and we could say if first name equals an empty string. And what we could, in fact, do is say trim, which is another PHP function, which will basically strip any white space from the left and right hand side of a, a variable. And in this case, we have this one. Then we might just want to return. Now, we can just use this on its own. We're not returning a value. This will actually return null from the function. So if we were to do full name and provide a load of spaces, this obviously doesn't make sense. So if we refresh, you can see we get nothing in here. And of course, what we can do using what we learned about var dump and print r, we can do a var dump on the return value of this. And you see that that's null. Now, again, if I go ahead and I provide Alex in here, you can see that we get the string Alex. And again, if I go ahead and I use 
my last name, we get that full value as expected. So that should just about do it for the flexibility of functions. You now know that you can pretty much do anything inside of here and you know how to appropriately return depending on what you're checking.